Hello, this is Sonia Kirschner and you are watching Kirschner Communications TV, the program designed around the German language, business, life in general, you and me. And this is another German business language coaching section created to help you to make the best of your German and to inspire you to use it in a business context. Today's section will give you an idea of how to invite someone to attend a meeting. Einladung zu einer Besprechung. To start with, you will hear the English and German version of a dialogue, followed by speaking in more detail about useful vocabulary and textual constructions. Hello, Mr. Field. Hallo, Herr Dr. Field. Yes, speaking. I'm Apparat. Martin Reichert here. I'm secretary to Francis Clemens, public relations manager at Tento, Berlin. Hier spricht Martin Reichert. Ich bin der Sekretär von Frau Clemens, der Leiterin für Public Relations bei der Werbeagentur Tento. Oh yes, we met last month at a trade fair in Berlin. She mentioned that your agency might be able to help my company. Oh ja, wir haben uns letzten Monat auf der Messe in Berlin kennengelernt. Sie erwähnte damals, dass ihre Agentur unserer Firma eventuell behilflich sein könnte. That's right. Well, since then she has been in touch with a number of local firms who wish to set up joint projects elsewhere in Europe. A meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, the 12th of August, at our offices here in Berlin. An invitation is on its way to you. I'm ringing now to give you advance warning. Richtig. Also Frau Clemens hat neulich ein paar hiesige Firmen kontaktiert, die an gemeinsamen Projekten für Europa interessiert sind. Wir haben diesbezüglich eine Besprechung für Dienstag, den 12. August, hier in unserem Berliner Büro angesetzt. Ihre Einladung ist schon unterwegs. Mein Anruf soll Sie nur schon vorher in Kenntnis setzen. That's very kind. I will check my diary and either way I will get my secretary to renew before the weekend. Will you thank Miss Clemens for the invitation and tell her I hope I will be able to make it on the 12th. Das ist sehr freundlich von Ihnen. Ich werde gleich in meinem Terminkalender nachsehen, aber, aber auf jeden Fall wird Sie meine Sekretärin noch vor dem Wochenende anrufen. Danken Sie inzwischen Frau Clemens für die Einladung und sagen Sie ihr, dass ich hoffe, am 12. in Berlin zu sein. I will. Thank you, Mr. Field. By the way, our number is... Double zero four nine one two one three four five six. Gern, vielen Dank, Herr Dr. Field. Übrigens, unsere Telefonnummer ist 0049-121-3456. Sorry, I nearly forgot to ask you. Send Miss Clemens my regards and thanks again. Goodbye. Oh, danke, das hätte ich beinahe vergessen. Grüßen Sie Frau Clemens von mir und vielen Dank nochmals. Auf Wiederhören. Thank you. Goodbye. Dankeschön. Auf Wiederhören. In the following part we will be looking in more detail at useful vocabulary and textual constructions. Mr. Field, Herr Dr. Field, you can see that the academic title is mentioned in the German version. So please do mention the academic title of the person you are talking to if you are aware of it. Yes, speaking, am Apparat. The literal translation of am Apparat would be on the phone. Martin Reichert here. Hier spricht Martin Reichert. I'm secretary to. Ich bin der Sekretär von. Public Relations Manager at. Leiterin für Public Relations by. In this instance, uh, the manager is a woman. That's the reason why we use the female noun for manager in German, which is Leiterin, Leiterin für Public Relations. And yes, Public Relations, it's, it's, a, it's a word which is now used on a daily basis in Germany, so please don't hesitate to use it when speaking German, because um, it is very popular. Leiterin für Public Relations by Public Relations Manager at. We met. Wir haben uns kennengelernt. Wir haben uns kennengelernt is the present perfect construction. We met. Wir haben uns kennengelernt. 
At the trade fair of the Messe, she mentioned, sie erwähnte, that your agency might be able to help my company, dass ihre Agentur unserer Firma eventuell behilflich sein könnte. You can see that might be able is expressed by saying eventuell behilflich sein könnte, might be able to help, eventuell behilflich sein könnte. Has been in touch, hat kontaktiert, again the present perfect construction. A number of local firms, ein paar hiesige Firmen, firm could be also translated with Unternehmen. Joint projects, gemeinsamen Projekten. In this instance, gemeinsamen Projekten stands in the accusative case because of the construction of the sentence, but the nominative case of joint projects would be gemeinsame Projekte. You can hear the difference in the ending, no N at the end. Gemeinsame Projekte. A meeting is scheduled. Eine Besprechung ist angesetzt. An invitation is on its way to you. Ihre Einladung ist schon unterwegs. Give you, <coughs> give you advance warning. Sie schon vorher in Kenntnis setzen. That's very kind. Das ist sehr freundlich von Ihnen. The German version includes um, also the person and states in English, that's very kind of you. Das ist sehr freundlich von Ihnen. I will check my diary. Ich werde gleich in meinem Terminkalender nachsehen. Der Terminkalender, the diary. Before the weekend, vor dem Wochenende. Thank Miss Clemens or someone else for the invitation. Danken Sie jemanden für die Einladung. Für die Einladung danken. To thank for the invitation. Thank you. Vielen Dank. By the way, übrigens. I nearly forgot. Das hätte ich beinahe vergessen. Das hätte ich beinahe vergessen. Send Miss Clemens my regards. Grüßen Sie Frau Clemens von mir. Goodbye. Auf Wiederhören. In a telephone conversation context. Auf Wiederhören. In a face-to-face -face context. Goodbye would be Auf Wiedersehen. Thank you. Dankeschön. I hope you have enjoyed this section. That's all from me. Did you like this video? If you did, subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends on the various social media sites. And if you want even more great resources which will help and inspire you to use your German in business and everyday life, plus some personal insights from me which I only share via email, come on over to kirschnercommunications.com and sign up for email updates. Keep practicing the German and make it a part of your daily business and life. Remember, Rome was not built in a day, but today many roads lead to it. Be patient, keep motivated and enjoy the benefits of speaking German. Thank you for watching and I catch you next time on Kirschner Communications TV.